All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Gaetano. We're back again with Jackie from Accelerity Marketing. Today, we are talking about a very peculiar topic, um, and that is a topic of cash. So um, basically, here's the deal. I've seen this at companies where uh, someone in, in the department will get fired or quit, and then an employee from that department will absorb that person's work. And then what will happen is that person may think, hmm, since I'm doing a lot more work, I need to be compensated more. So what they'll say is they'll use that opportunistic approach as leverage to demand or even hold the company hostage for more money um, because of this unfortunate circumstance. And from my perspective, uh, that's just not a good way to go about doing business. So Jackie, um, what do you say to that employee who absorbs a lot more work in the department when someone gets fired or quits? And then like how, if they do feel like they've got to go for more money and ask for more money and stuff, like how do you go about that? How should you do it? Because this is something a lot of people are wondering. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, funny because that happens all the time, right? It happens on every single team. It's happened in my business as well. Someone leaves and the work has to go somewhere, of course. In my opinion, though, most, I'm not asking if someone leaves, it's not like we're giving 10 hours of work to this person and 10 hours of work to this person. Like mm -hmm. you kind of adjust your schedule to absorb that work. And while you might be working a little bit more, um, you know, during that transition, you're not completely, you know, like overhauling your job description or doing a ton more work. So for one, to me, I would say prove it, you know, like if you are working harder and you have absorbed this new job or you feel that you deserve a new title or more money, you know, do the work for at least a few months and prove, you know, like I took on this extra work. This is the amount of time that I've been putting in. I really feel that it would be fair to compensate me for more. Um, you know, and just go with a very like fact based, I always can receive fact very well as a boss, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. I'm working X amount of hours. I'm doing these roles that are outside of my original job description. Um, but I have to say, if you're not, I, this happens, I think probably when people are unhappy with what they're being paid in the first place. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Because if someone's already happy and has already happy in their role and thinks that they're making a good amount of money, then taking on new tasks or new challenges should be something that's a positive. Um, it shouldn't be something that you're then going to the company and like, all right, it's time to duke it out, you know? So like figure that out. If you don't feel good about what you're getting paid, I think you should figure that out, you know, long before something like this happens. What do you think? Yeah, to totally, totally true. I mean, look, at the end of the day, nobody is going to just wake up and have more money in their bank account. Like it's just not going to happen. So like you said, fact-based and prove it is the way to go. Now, um, the timing of it all is the, is the, also the key because you shouldn't wait till someone gets fired or you, it shouldn't be an opportunistic thing. It, you should go to your manager or whatever and say, Hey, you know, I've been, I've been thinking about how I can do better financially um, in the company. And in exchange, I need to prove how I can be demonstrating the value that I'm providing. So what number can I own? If you don't, you should already be owning a number if you're in marketing, by the way. But if you're not, this is the best way to quantify it. What you go to your manager and say, Hey, what number do I own? If I don't own a number right now, I want a number. Give me a number. I need to own a number so that I can prove my value. Now, if you're doing project-based work, like if you're a designer, like it might be harder and stuff. But if you're doing things like, you know, SEO, PPC, content marketing, social media marketing, uh, conversion rate optimization, user experience, like there's engagement metrics that you can look at. Like there's all sorts of ways to quantify the value that you're bringing to the company, but you've just got to figure out a way to do that so mm -hmm. you can validate that you are deserving of a merit-based increase and not an opportunity that came along because someone quit and now you want more cash. I love that <laughs> approach. That's not something I've ever even heard of. Like, tell me how to prove it to you. Yes. You know, and I, I love that. God, I'm going to start using that. <laughs> yes. <the> knowledge. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, and my background is SEO. So like, it's easy for me to do that because I can always say, you know, traffic. I can always say uh, emails captured from organic visits, conversions from organic 
visits. You know, this is, this is the mentality you should have. Even as a content creator, it shouldn't be, hey, I produced seven pieces of content this month. Now, if you're a contractor and you're doing that, you're getting paid per project that's different. But if you're full-time in-house and you're, you're trying to quantify the value that you're bringing, it's not, you know, this is not a production plant. You know, mm-hmm. you're actually, you should be getting paid based on outcomes, not, you know, the, the busy work. Not the vanity metrics, not the yeah. opens and the visits to the website because we yeah, don't know yeah. who, yeah, I tell clients and my team that all the time. Like, you know, it's the like hard numbers, the leads that are generated that turn into sales that count and everything else is a good indicator, but it's a vanity metric. Exactly. So if you're someone that's out there that's looking to get more cash uh, from your company, this is the way to do it. Please don't wait till someone gets fired or quits and then go to your manager and say, hey, someone quit. So now you have to pay me more. And uh, I know that um, the company is riding on me to, to really bail them out of this hole. So if you don't compensate me, maybe I'll quit. <laughs> you know, that's not, that's not the way to do it. So uh, with that being said, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, happy earnings to you. Uh, hit up Jackie or myself if you want to connect or anything like that. So have a great one. Take care. Thank you.